Hi, it's Katrina. From entire lost continents to 1 million square miles of plastic, here are the 10 most unbelievable discoveries in the South Pacific. Number 10. The Megalithic Gate Prehistoric structures known as trilithons have been found all over the world. Stonehenge in England is a great example. It's made of two upright stones with a third laying on top. However, a more exotic location for a gate-shaped structure lies in the Tonga Islands. This group of 176 islands in the South Pacific is the home of the Haamonga a Maui. Translated as the carrying stick or burden of Maui, this impressive structure is made from limestone. It stands over 5 meters high and weighs around 40 tons. Like Stonehenge, its origins are ambiguous but are thought to date back more than 800 years. Legend states it was built by the Maui themselves for the king of Tonga in 1200 AD. Maui are demigods possessing immense power who sought to make mankind immortal. There's also connection to astrology with some believing it's connected to solstices. No one truly knows what the Haamonga a Maui is there for, so maybe it's best we just sit back and admire its megalithic beauty. Number 9. Million Dollar Point the next destination is the island of Espiritu Santo, the biggest island in the Vanuatu nation. It's where the Americans had a military base during World War II. After the conflict, the U.S. decided their equipment and vehicles should be left behind. This was for logistical and economic reasons. Where this multitude of items ended up was proof hostilities hadn't quite ended, despite the laying down of arms. The French, who were in charge of nearby Vanuatu, were interested in snapping up some surplus-based bargains, but they weren't impressed with the idea of paying for the privilege. Hoping to obtain the leftovers for free, they played hardball. The U.S. responded with the ultimate countermeasure. They dumped everything in the ocean. Clothes, coke bottles, cars, even bulldozers were offloaded to a watery grave. The entire process took two days and culminated in an explosion when the Americans detonated the jetty they used to launch things into the deep. From that moment on, the area became known as Million Dollar Point due to all the potential plunder on display. France's loss became tourism's gain. Why not go see this fascinating slice of military history for yourself? Number 8. The Tree Lobster When Britain Richard Howe became first Lord of the Admiralty, he inspired the naming of a volcanic rock island in the 18th century, Lord Howe Island. Knowingly or unknowingly, he also lent his name to an insect, the Lord Howe Stick Insect or Tree Lobster. This species is known for its tough exterior, which grows to around 6 inches long. While his lordship may not have been pleased about lending his name to a creepy crawly, he might well have marveled at its survival skills. The tree lobster was thought to have been wiped out by a plague of rats, which arrived unexpectedly on the island in 1918 following a shipwreck. The vermin ran rampant and supposedly killed all the insects. However, flash forward to 2001 and an amazing discovery was made on neighboring Ball's Pyramid, a triangular hunk of volcanic rock. Turns out a small number of the creatures had made their home in a tea tree there, showing that life really does find a way. Despite physical differences to their predecessors, such as skinnier legs, the insects were officially designated tree lobsters. If you're in Melbourne, Australia, you can find them at the local zoo. And watch out next time you open that box of tea. Number 7. Vanuatu Skulls there are some things about the South Pacific we simply don't know. For a long time, inhabitants of Efate Island in this region were believed to have been descended from the Melanesian race of Oceania, but this view was challenged in 2015 when researchers found non-Melanesian skulls in a 3,000-year-old cemetery. Looks like something Indiana Jones would discover. The find indicated that early Asians and Polynesians had arrived on the island prior to the Melanesians. These earlier visitors, known as Lapita, confused the modern establishment. Typically, there should have been more evidence of them populating the island, though it appears archaeologists were wrong. It's now thought that Lapita did far more than mingle with the Melanesians, giving rise to the people living there today. The discovery of the Vanuatu skulls proves that history is a constantly developing mystery. It continues to reveal a fascinating tapestry of events, one that will excite and baffle experts for centuries to come. Number 6. Giant Garbage Patch the South Pacific is an exotic location full of mind-altering sights, sounds, and smells. It's the smells that form the basis of this next item, a vast assortment of garbage, or patch. It's estimated by researchers to be around a million square miles in size, that's bigger than the state of Texas, and is mainly composed of tiny plastic particles. These particles are the disintegrated remains of the world's trash and a sad indicator of global pollution. 
A truly unbelievable part of the story is how old this garbage is. While Voyagers collected samples of the patch this year, they are thought to be as much as 10 years old. Combine that fact with the South Pacific being a largely unexplored area for pollution, and the scale of the problem is immense. We can only make educated guesses as to its true extent. How are these patches created? The answer lies in the motion of the ocean. A massive whirlpool effect, or gyre, is created by factors such as wind and gravitational forces. This gyre collects the discarded plastic and keeps it all swimming together in a mind-boggling mass. The ocean isn't going to stop doing this anytime soon, so the responsibility lies with humanity. You should think twice before chucking that plastic bottle into the water. Number 5. Radiation at Bikini Atoll One of the most devastating aspects of World War II were the nuclear tests carried out in the Marshall Islands toward the end of hostilities. The U.S. government tested a staggering 67 weapons between 1946 and 1958. The effect led to the islands becoming uninhabitable, a situation that definitely still exists today in the deceptively named Bikini Atoll. While its title suggests a swimsuit-laden paradise, it's been discovered that levels of radiation are still too high for the population to return. Whereas the likes of Enewitak Atoll were found to emit 7.6 millirems of gamma radiation per year, Bikini Atoll is a different story. In studies conducted by researchers, an astonishing 184 millirems were clocked up over 12 months. This isn't a death sentence for people setting foot on the island, but it certainly falls short of the standards set by respective governments. Further study needs to take place in order to determine the effect on human habitation. In the meantime, if you're thinking of going on a sun-kissed holiday, you might want to consider Hawaii instead. Number 4. Bay of Plenty Sea Monster A YouTuber got more than she bargained for in 2013 when she went for a stroll on Pukahina Beach in the Bay of Plenty. Elizabeth Ann wound up filming the remains of a 30-foot-long carcass with a row of teeth that wouldn't look out of place in Jurassic Park. Uploading the fantastical footage to YouTube resulted in a range of comments as to what it might be. Some thought the half-buried and eyeless monstrosity was an eel. Others believed the Loch Ness Monster had left its baby in New Zealand. It took an expert at Auckland University to study the video and provide much-needed answers. While the monster looked like something out of a movie, it was in fact the bloated remains of a killer whale. Its telltale orca flipper gave it away, though you could be forgiven for thinking you were witnessing something extraordinary. The decomposition process leads to a warping of body mass, with numerous examples catching observers off guard. Even though this wasn't what the inquiring uploader thought it was, it still gave the world a thrill at the prospect of an unbelievable discovery. Unfortunately, the myth was debunked within days. Sometimes the scientific community can be a bunch of spoil sports. Number 3. Ghost Fleet of Chuk Lagoon In February 1944, Truck Lagoon, part of the Caroline Islands in the South Pacific, became a scene of absolute carnage. The area was being used by the Japanese Navy as a base for their Imperial Fleet during World War II. However, in a major preemptive strike, the U.S. attacked the fleet, sending them to the bottom of the lagoon. This devastating action was called Operation Hailstorm. Countless numbers of Japanese lost their lives, together with 250 aircraft and 50 sea vessels. The remains of the strike are preserved in the shallow waters, which during the 90s was renamed from Truk to Chuk Lagoon. Many have ventured to the ocean floor in search of its valuable yet gruesome cargo. It was famously documented by explorer Jacques Cousteau in his film Lagoon of Lost Ships in 1969. If you're thinking of paying the ghost fleet an underwater visit, caution is advised. The lush location was forever altered by the wreckage, which forms a hazardous obstacle to any swimmer. The water is also highly polluted from the fuel. This sunken fleet is long dead but still holds dangers for the unwary and opportunistic. Number 2. Cargo Cults The Second World War has had a profound effect on the Southern Pacific regions. An interesting example are cargo cults. Natives had their first taste of Western culture through the arrival of troops in their communities, and when the soldiers departed, the impact of their clothes, vehicles, beverages, and behavior were etched into the fabric of some tribes. American and Japanese goods were seen as the product of deities, and cult members would reenact military marching and recreate the clothing and weaponry of their visitors. Effigies were built in the shape of full-size planes. Coca-Cola cans were the subject of warship. Rituals were performed in the hope of more items being delivered to the islands, though none came. Colonialism and its teachings eventually led to the erosion of cargo cults and their practices. Some, however, exist to this day. 
A well-known cargo cult is that of the Prince Philip movement started in the 1960s. The Yao Nanan tribe from the island of Tana believe the Duke of Edinburgh to be far more than a British royal. To them, he embodies the son of a mountain spirit who left the island to get hitched. Henceforth, Prince Philip, husband to Elizabeth II, was worshipped as a deity. His trip to the island in 1974 only bolstered their conviction that he was the man they sought. If the Duke ever needs a break from the paparazzi, the island of Tana could be the perfect place to hide. Number 1. Zealandia the Pacific Ocean not only hides shipwrecks and crash planes, it can submerge bigger things, most notably a whole continent. Zealandia is half the size of Europe and was created approximately 85 million years ago. It formed when it broke away from the supercontinent of Gondwana. You might be surprised to learn that New Zealand, New Caledonia, and other land masses are only part of a wider whole. This so-called eighth continent exists beneath them, going on for thousands of meters below the surface. Geologists have been trying to put Zealandia on the map as a bona fide piece of land. Factors such as the various altitudes associated with the continent, together with the centuries-old rock formations that make up New Zealand's crust, lead them to argue it must be given its own status. However, time could be running out for Zealandia. The Australian plate will reportedly break the eighth continent down the middle. This should take many millions of years, so if you want to check it out for yourself, you still have some wiggle room. Thanks for watching! Have you seen any of these unbelievable discoveries for yourself? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you soon! Bye!